No, no, a tuna sandwich on wheat, but easy on the mayo. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm back to answer your questions. Our first question is from Paul. Paul wants to know, lefty or righty? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'd have to say, yes. Next up, we have a question from Jake. Jake wants to know, when are we going to get an Agent Nine or Bird and Squirrel crossover? I'd say the chances of that happening, Jake, are slim. Unless Bird and Squirrel were to make the New York Times bestseller list, because if that happens, anything is possible. Moving right along, our next question comes from 273. Hola, Puppet James. Are you ever going to create plushies of Squirrel, Bird, or Agent Nine characters? If you are, my son will go bananas. I think we'd all go bananas for Bird and Squirrel or Agent Nine plushies. But unfortunately, James hasn't figured out how to make that happen. Maybe one day. Our next question comes from Art DeSanchez. Having seen you from independently publishing to now, what would you say was the definitive push that helped solidify your standing? I'm not sure how to answer that one. I think the key to surviving in this business is a whole lot of luck. And you have to keep pushing yourself to try new things and to keep improving. If you ever reach a point where you feel like you know what you're doing, it's time to try something different. A different type of story, a slightly different style, and most importantly, don't give up. Our next question comes from Sparkleshine1236. Hi, Puppet James. I have a question. Have you always imagined Bird and Squirrel in 3D? I wouldn't necessarily say I imagined them in 3D as much as I've always imagined them as real, living, and breathing creatures with feelings and their own quirks and hang-ups. This makes them more relatable, and, and hopefully it also makes the readers care more about them, too. Here's a question from Sarah. Hi, Puppet James. What advice do you have for improving my skills and confidence as a viz dev artist trying to break into the industry? The best advice I can give is to learn as much as you can, get as good as you can be at all aspects of drawing, character design, backgrounds, perspective, painting, and try to meet and show your work to as many people as you can. And one day, one of those people is going to be in the right position to give you a job. And until then, you just got to keep putting yourself out there and trying your best. And one day, I guarantee it will happen. Just don't give up. And now on to our last question from Steven. Hi, Puppet James. I know that editors will help with the words of a story, but I'm interested to know, in terms of a GN, do they also edit the layout of panels or visual story elements as well? Great question. And the answer is, they do. They'll give notes on all aspects of the publishing process on a graphic novel from the panels, the artwork, the staging, the pacing, you name it, they're going to give you notes because they want the book to be the best that it can possibly be. And that's it. If you think of any more questions, leave them in the comments and maybe, just maybe, I'll come back and answer them. Until next time, bye.